Rivers dismisses Amawule and others' resolution as void. He sees a year de legally declared 25 seats vacant, or just urge to ignore defected ex lawmakers. Speaker of the River State House of Assembly, Leo to Governor Simnalai Fubara, Honorable Victor Okojobo has dismissed the resolution passed by Martin Amawili and 24 others wherein they claim they have barred Governor Simnalai Fubara and the state government from withdrawing money from the Consolidated Revenue Fund of the state. Okojombo, in his opening speech before the start of legislative business at plenary on Tuesday in Port Harcourt, wondered the basis of such audacity by Amabili and his cohort when their seat had been declared vacant on December 13, 2023, when Honorable Edison Ogoranye Ehir was then the duly recognized Speaker of the 10th House of Assembly. Okojombo, in a statement signed by DG Mr. Gillis West Clark, River State House of Assembly on Tuesday clarified that the former Speaker, Martin Amobile, and 24 others vacated their seats when they defected from the People's Democratic Party, PDP, a party platform in which they contested and won elections to the All Progressive Congress, APC. He stated the House states as follows. On the 11th day of December 2023, at the 87th Legislative Meeting of the House, Former Speaker Martin Amawili and the 24 former members defected from the People's Democratic Party, PDP2, the Your Progressive Congress, APC. By virtue of Section 1091G and 2 of the 1999 Constitution, which is self executing and consequent upon the defection on the 13th day of December 2023, Honorable Edison Ogoranya A. here, DSSRS ESQ, PhD. As the then duly recognized Speaker of the 10 River State House of Assembly, by virtue of a court order granted by Honorable Justice Dangogo on the 12th day of December 2023, in suite number PHC 3030CS2023, and pursuant to Section 1092 of the 1999 Constitution, declared their seats vacant. The Speaker therefore said it is laughable to have heard and seen the news of the illegal sitting of the former. Of the twenty-five former members of the Rivers of the twenty-five former members of River State House of Assembly led by Martin Amewudli on television screens and social media space on the fifteenth day of July twenty twenty-four. He noted that in this escalated news, it was stated that Amewili and his cohorts had passed a resolution to the fact that Governor Simnelai Fubara is not permitted to authorize the withdrawal of monies from the Consolidated Revenue Fund of the state. Honorable Oko Jumbo said the resolution further threatened that the House would declare shutdown on expenditures until an appropriation bill for the 2027 fiscal year is presented and passed by the legal house. He also stated that the purported resolution directed the governor to desist from further authorization of withdrawals from the Consolidated Revenue Fund of the state while directing all river state government ministries, commissions, agencies, departments and extra ministerial appointments. Extra Ministerial Department to desist from spending taxpayers' funds until the 2024 appropriation bill is laid before the former lawmakers. Consequent upon constitutional provisions and the declaration of the seats vacant, the recognized 10th River State House of Assembly is the one led by Honorable Victor Okojombo. Thus, the River State government has ceased paying any form of salaries, allowances, or statutory remunerations to the former members. He added, the 10th River State House of Assembly, which is the legitimate house under the leadership of Honorable Victor Okojombo, is the only one recognized by law and River State Government, and thus has been receiving all statutory allocation due to the House of Assembly, and has been discharging its financial obligation by paying the salaries of a recognized Honorable Members of the House, their aid, the allowance of the public servant in the River State House of Assembly. Honorable Okojumba and Amewuli and the 24 ex lawmakers had hinged their resolution on Section 122 of the 1999 Constitution, which empowers the state governor to continue to make appropriation for six months from the budget of the previous fiscal year. For any reason, he was unable to present an appropriation bill to the House. He noted, May I remind the defected members that His Excellency, Sassim Nalai Fubara, 
the GSSRS presented the 2024 Appropriation Bill to the River State House of Assembly under the leadership of the then Speaker, Honorable Edison Ogranye, here DSSRS. And it was duly passed on the 13th day of December 2023 and as entered to on the 14th day of December 2023. Okojobo said, Further, this house awaits to receive from His Excellency the presentation of the Medium Term Expenditure Framework MTEF for the next three physical financial years pursuant to Section 10 of the River State Physical Responsibility, Responsibility Law number 8 of 2010 in order to prepare for the 2025 physical year. The general public is therefore called upon to disregard and ignore those misguided former members and also discountenance The general public is therefore called upon to disregard and ignore those misguided former members and other discountenance their legal actions. I once again call on the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to ex expedite preparation towards the conduct of a by election to fill the vacant seats seated by in the River State House of Assembly by the defection of Martin Amewule and 24 others. The speaker explained that the position of the authentic River State House of Assembly has been communicated to Prof. Ngozi Odu, the Deputy Governor of River State, the Secretary to the River State Government, the Head of the Civil Servants of River State, the Council General and the Auditor General of River State. Other institutions that have been communicated, Honorable Okojumbo noted, including the Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Chairman of Revenue Mobilization, Allocation and Physical Commissioning, Accountant General of the Federation Group, and Managing Director, CEO, Access Bank Group. All right. The speaker explained the position of the authentic River State House of Assembly that has been communicated to Prof. Ngozi Udu, the Deputy Governor of River State, the Secretary to River State Government. The head of the civil service of civil service of River State, the Accountant General of River State, the Accountant General and the Auditor General of River State. Other institutions that have also been communicated, Henry Buloko Jumbo, noted during the Governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, Chairman of Physical Mobilization, Allocation and Physical Commission, Accountant General of the Federation. Group Managing Director, CEO of Zenith Bank POC, and Managing Director, CEO of Access Bank Group. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We so say thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest.